guys, I'm finally back and I'm feeling a little bit better. Welcome to moving vlog number three. So I took a little time off because I had an upper respiratory infection. I'm still getting over it. I still have a little cough. And now I have an ear infection that I'm trying to get through, but I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you to those who wish me well and hope that I feel better. I am feeling better. This is the day before the big move. I'm so excited to be moving. This is the current state of my apartment. So we got boxes over here. I need to tape up. We have to get rid of this TV stand still. Um, we got boxes over here that needs to be taped up. There's a couple of things that I have to put away, like all of our desk items inside here needs to be put away um let's see this needs to be cleared off so have a couple of my products that i need to pack up hmm. this i'm just gonna put in the car so i'm not even gonna like do the trash bag method that i did when moving in here um that's really about it just need to pack up a few things we need to put our mattress protector on here, so we'll be sleeping on the floor tonight. I need to wrap up the mirror. What else? I need to take the cushions off the couch. Um, and then I need to clear out the balcony. So there are just some smaller items I have to take care of before tomorrow morning. Oh yeah, and my lips got dark because I just came back from vacation. I did wear sunscreen, but I didn't have um, SPF in my uh, lip balm so yes my lips are dark I don't know when they're gonna get light but we're gonna get started just got off of work came back home changed my shirt and we're gonna get to packing packing because I ran out of tape and we don't have any more trash bags and I can't move forward without them so I'm gonna head to Target really quick and get those two items be right back
the mattress. It's over there. And we were trying to see if the movers that are coming um, the following day to remove the bed frame, if they could get this out. We weren't sure, um, but we tried it and I think they could. However, either this piece or this piece will be on the floor dragging in the hallway, on the ground outside. We're just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, this is white. We don't want it to get dirty. So... Instead of using our mattress protector on our actual mattress, we're using it for the bed frame. And this little trick worked. Now it's covered. Um, I had to add some tape to it because it kept moving. A little ghetto, but um, at least it's covered. This part is not covered. I mean, ugh, there's only so much that we can do. I was thinking that maybe I can put like tape, like I put tape right here so that in case if it gets flipped the other way and this part gets dragged, the dirt will go on the tape and not the actual, you know, bed frame. But, um, I don't know, that's just too much work. So, we tried our best. At first, we were going to use the plastic, but we had to cut it and it was just going to take too much time. So, we did it this way. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of tape over here. I don't know, it's a little ghetto, but, um, at least this part and this part different parts gonna be on the ground won't get dragged and get dirty at least so that's what we're gonna do and then we'll just get a new mattress protector for our actual mattress so yeah maybe there's a better way to do this i don't know if there's an actual like bed frame protector i don't know but we don't have one so <laughs> this is what we're gonna use yeah and then we just removed the two picture frames um there were little holes in the wall so we just painted them as you can see yeah, we just painted over that. And then we removed the mirror, which caused a little bit of damage, as you can see, like a little bit. But we just painted that, because we have some white paint, just to, you know, cover that up. And then we started removing um, the little Ikea mats that we had outside. And I did not realize it was so dirty underneath, so disgusting. So we'll have to come back and clean that, but that'll be for another day. <laughs> we did a lot today, and here are the picture frames. We did a lot. This is a lot of work. Yep, so I think we're done for today. We're most likely going to sleep on the couch. The last things that we'll pack tomorrow will be the stuff in the fridge because we have milk and eggs and all that. We don't want it to we don't want it to spoil. But yeah, this is our last night here. I'm so excited to move. I'm not gonna miss this apartment complex. So that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow, the official move-in day. Good morning, everyone. Today is the official move-in day. I'm so excited to be moving. It's around 8.15 in the morning. We are gonna go and pick up the U-Haul truck and the dolly that we rented, so let's go. Hey guys we got the truck it's right here the 10 foot one however we rented a dolly but they don't have dollies because people don't bring them back so now we need to go to home depot to see if we can rent a dolly they do have dollies there but you have to buy them for like 60 to 70 dollars and i was like would it be wrong if we buy it and then return it afterwards like that's not wrong right because we only need it for the move. I don't want to buy it and then store it in the apartment. I don't need a dolly. Um, I just need it for, you know, today, basically. I just need it for today to move out. So Home Depot is nearby. We're going to leave the truck here, take the car, go to Home Depot, and then come back for the truck. But this is, this, this is the one that we're renting today. Now it's a step back now because we have to, we actually extended it. We we're supposed to be done with the truck at 2.30, but now since, we don't have a dolly and we have to go to Home Depot. We extended it until 4 p.m., which costs more money. Okay, guys, we ended up buying the dolly. We're gonna keep the receipt and then we're gonna return it later today. He said just to clean them off, but yeah. Now we can get started with the move.
welcome gift. Whew, today has been a long day. It's 2.48 p.m. And we had to go through like all the paperwork and stuff. And that took about like 30 minutes. We have like an hour and a half left to return the U-Haul truck. And there's no way that we can unpack within an hour and a half. It took us three hours to pack, but at least we had those two big carts. This time we only have a wagon and a dolly because they don't provide anything for residents to move in because he said, because of liability. In case someone gets hurt, but and it would have been helpful, honestly. I mean, if you get hurt, then that's on you, but you know how people are. I always want to sue people. But uh, yes, we're in the new apartment and now we have to go back outside and unpack we're gonna have to call the U-Haul truck place to let them know that we need like, we need the truck for another two or three hours. And then at 5 p.m. the internet will be installed. And we have not eaten anything all day. Like I was planning to have yogurt, but it just didn't happen because we woke up so early. Ugh. This is what I get for not hiring movers, but they wanted to charge five to six hundred dollars and I'm like, that's a little too much for me. So, we're moving in by ourselves today. And then tomorrow, two people will be helping us, the movers will be helping us move in um, the five bigger items. I don't even know if it's worth it. Like, should I have paid this $100? I don't know. I don't know, but that's a lot of money. Okay, let's begin. Okay, hey guys, it's been an hour since I talked to you guys. Okay, so let me tell you what just happened. So, an hour ago, we were like, okay, we're ready to unload. Again, it's 90 degrees outside. We already packed. We spent four hours packing from the old apartment, so we're exhausted. We have back pain. And mind you, we only have a wagon. The dolly is in the truck, but there's so much stuff in the truck. We should have moved the dolly in the front so we could have it. Well, this is how much we did. We moved this, this, and this. And then we looked at each other and we were like, I don't know what we were thinking. This is too much work. So there's a number on the U-Haul truck that says um, same day move. So we had called and we were like, yeah, we're gonna need to hire two people to help us unload. So we just hired two people to help us unload. They're coming in like 30 to 40 minutes. We just went to a tropical cafe smoothie to grab some food. But yeah, I don't know what we were thinking. Like I am not, oh, you guys can't see me. I am not superwoman. I don't know what I was thinking, you guys. Don't be cheap like me. Pay someone. We are, we're already paying someone for tomorrow to help us move the bigger items, but we should have just paid someone to unload because they don't have carts for us. We literally only have a wagon and the dolly is in the truck. And there's stuff in the truck, so it's pushed back. We can't even use a dolly. Or like, you know, taking the elevator, going up and down the stairs, walking the hallway, no. No, so this will be a little different. Um, a, a different moving vlog um, than you might have expected, but we have back pain, okay? So to hire two movers, same day, for three hours, $299. You just split it each way, my husband and I. And then we had to extend the U-Haul truck, so that's an extra $30, but they told us that we could take our time and we could um, bring it back tomorrow at 7 a.m., so that's good. It's just unexpected expenses, but it's too hot outside. It is way too hot outside, and I haven't eaten today. Like, I haven't eaten, so I feel like I'm about to pass out. So that's about it. We're gonna wait for the movers to come, and they're just gonna unload everything. Now, I do have my, we, we both have our monitors um, in the car and the TV. I don't trust anybody with those things. So we'll just move those in by ourselves, but everything else, like, they're just boxes, so. Yeah, that's about it. Hey guys, the movers are here. They're starting to bring in everything. I don't know if they feel comfortable on camera, so I don't know if I'll put them on camera. But I told them that I would buy them dinner because this is hard work. So they've been bringing in things. Yeah, so worth it, so worth it. I kind of feel bad because I'm just like standing here like, mm, waiting for them to come in, but I'm just waiting for the cleaning box to come so we can start like, unpacking but I prefer to clean even though this is a new unit but yeah and then the person here to install our internet they are here in the bedroom installing it so got that going <laughs> They 
are super fast. They brought up everything here within an hour. Or actually not within an hour, but it took an hour. Everything is here. But we paid for three hours. So I don't know if we'll get like a refund. We can ask for it. Otherwise, it's okay. I mean, I think the minimum was only two hours. So maybe we can get some of the money back. But they were fast. I did send them money for dinner because it is hot outside. And this is not easy work. But everything is here. I'm so excited. I started cleaning up because I don't like to just put stuff, you know, away. I like to clean up. And I saw that the fridge was a little bit dirty. And for some reason, the guest bathroom... The bathtub has a little dirt in it, which I don't even understand why, because the last time we came here was like three weeks ago and there was no dirt in here. Do you see, do you guys see this? I don't know if it's picking it up. Yeah, there's like dirt here and then there's marks. And I don't know where that came from, but this is why you can't just start unpacking and put away stuff. You gotta clean first. So, we're cleaning a little bit, but we ran out of paper towel. So we'll have to go to Target to get paper towel. Now we have a bathtub. We need um, curtains now. We didn't need it before because we just had a shower. But everything is here. And we got our internet set up. It's just perfect. So yeah, you guys don't be cheap. Pay someone to move. Just save up for it and you'll be fine. So we have, let me see. We only have a little bit of paper towel left. Maybe like three sheets and we still need to clean. So I think we're going to head to Target and get a couple of items. But yeah, this is what the living room is looking like right now. A whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, but we have everything in here. Perfect. They did a great job. Only an hour, they're so fast. Feel like falling deeper, cold on ice, not no more shit. This disinfectant cleaner. 
oh my gosh and then i've always wanted to get scrub daddy i've seen this all over instagram youtube shorts um and i got it so i got the sponge the scrub daddy sponge daddy for for four dollars i was gonna get like the round one that a lot of people use but that was 3.98 but i could get four for four dollars so it's like a like two cents extra so i was like let me get that and then i've seen people use this too this natural cleaning paste you just dip the sponge in it and it can be used for a lot of things like the oven stove tops grills showers ceramic towels toilets washer dryer glass mirrors pots pans i mean multiple uses so i'm really excited to use these two Okay, then we got some shower hooks because now we have bathtubs. So, got one for our bathroom and then the guest bathroom. And I got really cute shower curtains, which I cannot wait to show you guys. And then now we have a bathtub, so I can take baths. So excited. I got the Dr. Till's foaming bath with pure Epsom salt. This one has melatonin, lavender, and chamomile essential oil blood uh, i'm so excited to take a bubble bath but i got this and then we got some dish washer pods okay oh and then we needed this um paper towel holder because the one that we have just looks messed up there's like a whole bunch of stickers on it. it's a little dirty so we got a new one i like this one it's better quality it's like more heavy and this is from the threshold collection Okay, moving along. Ooh, I did need a measuring cup. The one that I have, it was glass, but the number started chipping off. So I, yeah, I couldn't use it basically if I can't see the number. So I got this one. This is a four cup one. The other one that I have was a two cup one. So it's four cups. Perfect. Need that for cooking and baking. Ooh. And then this was a must. For my Swifter, I needed the wet cloths, so I got that. It kind of spilled, so but it smells really good. I need that because we gotta mop these floors, okay? We've been walking around with our shoes. The person who installed the internet was walking with the shoes. The movers had their shoes on, so the floor is a little bit dirty, so we gotta clean that. And then we got a bath mat. This is for the guest bedroom, and this goes perfectly with the shower curtains. I can't wait to show you. I'm just going to see the shower curtains right now because I've been talking about it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So look at this shower curtain. I love the design. They're like plants at the bottom, a couple of cactuses. I think it looks so cute. So this is for the guest bathroom and it does match with the bath mat I got. Okay. And then, let me show you our curtain. Oh, there we go. Got it. So we got this one, very colorful design. So what we got, there's flowers on it, a rainbow, polka dots, different designs. And then we have this flower bath mat to go along with it. Okay, this was in like the children's section, but I don't care. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> but it definitely goes with the shower curtain. <gasps> so cute! I love it. I want, to, I want our bathroom to look more colorful. Like our previous one, we had a black bath mat and we had like no de no decor in the bathroom. So I wanted to make it look nicer. Okay, so we got a couple of pans. I only have one nonstick pan. And there's so many scratches on it like the coating has lifted so it's like no longer non-stick anymore and it's from the green pan um company and it lasted i want to say two years it lasted two years i don't know if that's good but there's so many scratches on it that one has to go so we got two pans to replace that one this is from the fake mint brand this is a non-stick five quart hard uh, saute pan so we got this and I do have my stainless steel pots and pans I still have those but when you're cooking like eggs or maybe sauteing veggies 
you want to have a non-stick pair. There's certain things that you want to cook with stainless steel, certain things that you want to cook with non-stick. So that's why I need some more non-stick pairs. And this one is from Big Mint too. This is a non-stick 10 inch ceramic coated fry pan. I don't know why this one doesn't come with the lid. I don't know. But yeah, I got this one, so I got two. Definitely needed that. Okay. Let's see what else I got here. Got some baby wipes. You know, when you number two, you can't just use toilet paper. Mm -mm, you gotta you gotta wipe it first and then toilet paper. So <gasps> we got some wipes in the bathroom. And then we got two shower liners. This will go inside the shower and the curtain. So you know, there's no mold or water that gets on the actual curtain. We don't want that. We got the shower liner. And we got shower gloves. I'm using a loofah currently, and I've had it for like a month or two, but it's kind of like unraveling. It's a little dirty. It's like time to replace it. So I got my gloves. That's for fur anyway. What else do we got? Oh, and I got a big case of toilet paper and paper towel, which is those two are right there. Oh, and then we got a towel. One of the towels that we have has like a couple of holes in it. I don't know what happened. So we got a towel. So everything together, let me see, was $314. Every time I buy a whole bunch of stuff, I like guess how much everything will be. And I was like, oh, no more than $200. And then she kept, she kept bringing it up and I was like, oh shoot, like we're past 300. So yeah, everything was 314. But we got a lot of essentials, like everything that we needed, we got. However, um, I did tell you guys, I think in the last moving vlog, that we have appreciation points that you can convert to gift cards. So I could convert my points into a $40 Amazon gift card. And my husband at his company has a you know very similar system. But if we combine our gift cards, we have $75 to spend on Amazon. So there's a couple things that we do need, like I want... When I take a bath, I want like a um, a bathtub tray to put items on it when I take a bath. So I get that from Amazon. I need a whisk. Um, I need a shower shelf to put all of our products. Um, they did have some in Target, but I didn't like it. Like, you know the shower organizers that actually go on the shower head? They tend to move, swing. And the ones that they have, like, there wasn't a lot of room. So we have a couple products that we use, so we need more space. So we'll get that from Amazon. The veggie chopper I was thinking about, I'll get from Amazon. Someone told me not to get a veggie chopper. Someone told me to get a food processor. So I'll look into that. But there, there's just a couple of more things that we need, just little items that we can use from our Amazon gift card. So I'm going to see if I can order some of them tonight so we can come tomorrow the next day. And I, I am exhausted. Today was a long day, but um, I took some Tylenol and I'm feeling much better. So yeah, um, I'm going to get ready for bed, see if I can order those things from Amazon, and that will be the end. We'll have our first night. We're going to spend the night here. We don't have our mattress. We have a couple of cushions from our sofa, so we'll just sleep on that. We really don't have any pillows right now. It's in the car. There's a couple things still in the car. We're tired. <laughs> we have our TV in the car right now. Uh, my monitor, both of our monitors are still in the car because we're just tired. So we'll do that all tomorrow. But a new moving vlog will start tomorrow. And I will start unpacking and cleaning the apartment. I'm really excited for that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed this moving vlog, then give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing because there'll be more movie vlogs um i really can't wait to unpack and then start decorating and start growing my garden you know i have plans on growing some fruits and veggies so i cannot wait for that more fun vlogs are coming so consider subscribing i'll see you guys in the next one bye